Former football coach Kelsey McKay heard about the years of trauma he caused a former player. The man read his victim impact statement in a Winnipeg court a few meters from McKay. The man said that some people take the time to forgive their abuser in these things, but not me. In my mind, nobody who has harmed a child ever deserves to be forgiven. The victim detailed how he was groomed for years and sexually assaulted by McKay. He told court he suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder and tried to pretend the assaults didn't happen. 53-year-old McKay has pleaded guilty to 11 charges related to the abuse of nine former players. Four were in court. None of them can be identified because of a publication ban. The family of another victim also spoke in court. That man took his own life in 2022. His mother said she wondered how no one, not one coach, teacher, or even herself, realized what was happening. The prosecutor said she still wanted that victim's voice heard, so she played parts of his police statement. About McKay, the man said he absolutely destroyed parts of my life that I'm never going to get back. And I just want to say once again that I'm sorry it took so long for me to say something. The prosecutor wants McKay sentenced to 25 years in prison. She told court it's needed to reflect the enormous harm that comes from the relentless sexual exploitation and abuse of nine children perpetrated by a trusted coach and teacher. McKay's defense hasn't yet said what sentence it wants. The sentencing hearing continues on Wednesday. Caitlin Gowerluck, CBC News, Winnipeg.